believe we've got a great one in store today. And when you've got a team that makes it into the top 25, now when you go on the road, that's when you prove you belong. As we'll see the number 19 team in the country, the Kansas State Wildcats, taking on another Big 12 foe, the Colorado Buffaloes. For EA Sports College Football, Reese Davis with you alongside David Pollock and Jesse Palmer. Time to get this game started. The Buffaloes will kick it away first. Here he comes from inside his own five. And good work by the coverage team to get the return man down on the ground. The offense set for a first down play. Quarterback checking the play. Johnson wants to throw it. Takes the easy completion. They make the stop right there. Good pickup, but still short of the first down. That you can throw it to, and you know he's going to catch the ball consistently. He's dropped behind the line of scrimmage. That'll be a loss of three. So third and short from inside the 20. You convert here, and this drive takes on a different complexion. From the gun, wants to pass. Quick completion on the out. Put it right on him. Sweet play. Good pick up, and they'll move the chains with the first down. There's a reason third down is called the money down. What a great find by the quarterback. Great job finding his receiver. Uh, at the end of the game, you look at third down percentages. It tells a huge story, and it goes a long way in deciding who wins a football game. Comes out throwing on first down. Makes the grab. It's Edwards. Still on his feet at the 45. He's run out of bounds, but a big play on that one, and it'll be a first down. They've done a really good job identifying mismatches, and they find one out of the backfield there. Reese, I really don't think it's that hard. My guy is better than yours. Find the matchup across the field. Running back's got some speed. Get in his hands quickly. Throw it to him fast. Let him make somebody miss against a slower guy that's usually a linebacker. Kansas State pushing the pace. Just keep giving him the easy catches until they do something to stop it. Yeah, you're going to dictate to the defense. You're going to make the defense cover him up, and then obviously it leaves the middle of the field a little bit more wide open for receiver for a tight end. So QB keeps making the right decision, getting the ball to running back, and he's making plays. Quickly complete. He's all the way down to the 27-yard line, and they are threatening. The Wildcats have it with a first and ten. They'll run the option. And the ball is free on the pitch. That ball carrier is very lucky. That easily could have ended up in the hands of the defense. You have got to do a better job of ball speed. Six-yard pickup on first down. Leaves him with second and four. Let's go. They'll run it on the counter. Nice move to stay on his feet. They get him on the ground, but not before he gets enough for the first down. As well as it has. This has been beautiful. Nice balance, really nice rhythm. It feels like everything they're dialing up here on their first drive of the game is working to perfection. Trying to run it in in the red zone. He's got four, and he's down at the 12. They'll run play action. He's moving out of the pocket. Got out of trouble and throws. Caught near the sticks. It's Brown. And he strides his way into the end zone. Touchdown, Wildcats! You love as a head coach to watch your offense take the field and establish a rhythm and consistency the way they did there. Everything they dialed up was working to perfection. They go 10 plays on the opening drive and cap it off with a touchdown. Coming out on first down with the play fake. Skips away from pressure. Takes a hit as he fires. It's caught. That defense got gassed, but they finally get him to the turf at the 47. 
Man, it's so nice to have a quarterback who doesn't flinch. You watch it, man. He's hanging in there, right? Hanging in there. Takes some time for those routes to get down the field. Gets hit as he throws it, but delivers the ball, a catchable ball down the field, and makes the big play. Nice toughness by that young man. So the decision has been made, and the coach will take the penalty. After the setback, the offense gets set for a first and 15. Quarterback checking off. Johnson looking to throw. Dances away to buy time. Now he's going to send this one deep to the right. Well, he was rolling to his right because of that. I don't know if it affected the time. They'll crank up this drive with the pass. The throw to the outside is complete. He will step out of bounds, but not before the big pickup and a first down for this offense. Use the play fake. Now to throw. Trying to make magic with his feet. Finally run out of bounds, but he has this offense rolling. so frustrating and it happens so fast he just pulls it down it looks like pass he pulls it down and he's gone just like that chewing up yards so much speed so hard to stop looking to move it through the air shoots it to the left pulls it in he's run out of bounds but not before turning in a big pickup and moving the sticks for a first down Man, this defense, they have got to get better in coverage if they want to get off the field anytime soon. You keep defending like that, this offense might hang 50 on you by the end of the game. Now they've moved it just inside the 40. First and 10 from the 39. Use the play fake. Now to throw. They're bringing heat. Can't find his man as he took a shot trying to deliver that football, and it'll be second down. Get the quarterback off his spot. Make him flush from the pocket. Put a good hit on him. Check, check, check. You want to do everything you can to make the QB uncomfortable. The defense did all three of those on this play and finished it off with a nice lick, a nice physical play on the quarterback. You know, runs like this oftentimes are like a boxer in a boxing match. Obviously, it's not a knockout punch, but these are body blows. As the game goes on, these small gains are going to turn into longer runs. Now facing a third and long. The receivers often will run their route based on a side adjustment. Grabbed in the backfield. It's Giddens. Just couldn't find any room, and he wound up throwing it in reverse. They lost yardage. Man, this defense just has so much speed. You saw it on that third down play. The offense is trying to get a quick one, see if they can get a block and maybe spree a guy free. But the pursuit, wow, was so good defensively. And they get to him and sack the quarterback, and they'll stop the drive on down. He had no way. complete the offense quickly calls timeout to stop the clock now on second down Johnson wants to throw it rolling to the right trying to make something happen he'll try to do it himself and they're able to force him out of bounds after a short pickup well, great job there by the defense because they weren't able to get him sacked right away, but you saw the coverage in the back end, nor for the quarterback to throw the football. Didn't get the sack, obviously, you don't get the negative play, but you also don't give up a big one. You're feeling pretty good about where you are right now. This He'll throw on third down. Trying to get to it. 
And he got smacked just as he released the pass. It's incomplete. Defense did a great job. Third and short on the opponent's side of the field. They're expecting quick throw. Everybody, they dug their heel on the ground. They're able to break on the ball, force the incompletion. They're in their own territory, but they are undeterred. Fourth and inches, and they'll go for it. He'll try to throw and pick up the first down. He's going to take off, and he'll slide after picking up the first down. The offense calls timeout. It's the second one they've used this half. The Wildcats will have it first and ten. He wants to throw. A shot toward the end zone. And he's got it! Touchdown, Kansas State! Touchdown. And I just love the ex... They believe they can run right here. Nowhere to run on that one. He loses four on the carry. A negative play to open the drive. Let's see what they've got on second and 14. He's looking to throw. Dances away. Nothing doing downfield. He'll cut his losses and throw it away. It'll be third down. Good decision by the QB. You're outside the pocket. You're trying to find an open target. No one's open. Throw it away and with it away another one. They line up with some serious work to do if they want to convert this one. On third and long, he's going to have to turn one loose downfield. And that's incomplete. A defender all over him knocked the ball to the ground. Leaves it with the running back. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. Man, a lot of times when you blitz that linebacker, it's about timing. You don't show your hand, and he gets up to the line of scrimmage, gets right through the line, and makes the tackle for a loss. And as soon as the running back gets the football, he's got a face full of linebacker. Not much you can do there. Like, you got to have a little better block. you got to identify that blitz a little bit faster by the offensive line. Let's it fly. Complete downfield. And they'll finally catch up to him, but not before a big chunk of yardage is picked up. They're in the red zone, first and 10 from the 20. Man, if I'm a defense, I gotta find a way to get some more pressure on the quarterback or disrupt their timing and their rhythm. I can't give them these big chunk plays through the air. I gotta be maybe a little bit more aggressive or do something a little bit different. Going to work on second down in the red zone is still some ground to cover to pick up that first down. Running back searching for a hole. He'll get that one all the way down to the four-yard line before he stopped. And you know, big chunks like this don't happen unless you commit to the run game. you got to get those big boys up front into the game, understanding I want to knock people off of the football, create some holes like you do here for my running back, make the game easy. Ready? On first and goal, let's see what Kansas State calls. They'll try to get it in with the run. And he'll find the end zone. Touchdown, Wildcats! Okay. On the run, it's Edwards. And how about the efficiency on that one? It'll bring up second and four. And every coach in America has a plan for this situation. The first four minutes of the game, the last four minutes of the game. How I'm going to construct my offense. Most of the time, i got to be physical. Run the football like right here. Run that clock. Get a few first downs, and I can end this football game on offense. Make the stop at the 40, but he's got 15 yards on that one and a first down and a great job by the offensive line. If you're going to run the ball right up the middle, you better control the line of scrimmage. You can see the center, the guard, the tackles doing a good job getting on their guys just enough where this running back can get in the space and make the big game. 
And they'll wrestle him to the ground after a short game. Picked up two yards on that last one. They need eight on second down. Got him looking run. He wants to throw. Fires to the right. He makes a catch. Oh, what a caught. They make the stop, but not before he sets them up with a first and goal from the 10. And the Wildcats have their offense in high gear. Johnson looking to throw. Got it! And he was dying to push his way in there, but he's knocked down at the three. Now on second and goal. I love an offense that wants to stay aggressive. Even when you've got the lead late in the game like this, right? You still try to find your playmakers and get them the ball in space. And that is exactly what this offense is doing. If they can get it into the end zone here, they can really turn up the heat in this one. Third and goal. They'll run it to keep this clock grinding. Quick timeout called by the defense, stopping the clock to save as much time as possible for their offense. Yeah, that's a really good job by the defense, because when you get in that third and medium area, listen, you got to be worried about the run and the pass. Did a good job playing bold, got it stopped, now forcing a fourth down. They'll try to tack on a little extra to this lead with a touchdown here on fourth and goal. He caught it! How about that defense? Okay, ready? the play fake on first down wants to throw looking for a big play got it in stride inside the 20 defense will take a timeout with 28 seconds left well reese you and i were talking about this before the game how is this defense going to be able to deal with all the speed they have offensively you saw them just rip off a big play and jesse now their head's spinning just a little bit give up a big chunk play and it's right back at them All the way down to the 15-yard line. It's first down. He's looking to throw it. Fires left. Here's an interception. Oh, did they need that turnover? Got room on the return. And they capitalized not only on the pick, but on the great return to Your offense has a chance to salt the game away, run the clock out, and you're trying to make a play. You decide to throw the football, which we can talk about that decision later on down the road, but you throw the INT. Now you better hope your defense bails you out. Complete with conviction on the crosser. The offense uses a timeout. 15 seconds left to play. Picked up some yardage with that completion. Now second down. DB's right up on the receiver. Spits it out to the back. Caught. Close to the marker. It's Hayden. And the completion gives him a fresh set of downs and keeps this drive moving. The defense uses a timeout, and we are down to 11 seconds left to play. It's first and 10 from the 38-yard line. He's going to pass. Feeling some heat. And he'll chuck it into the cheap seats there and save the down. Nobody getting open there. All right, so ball's incomplete, and here's the game. This is going to have to be a Hail Mary pass on this last throw. Something has to go into the end zone, because at this point, a field goal doesn't do you any good. Looking for a man. It's Sander. Throws toward the end zone. And it's incomplete, and the last chance comes up empty, and the ball game is over. You want to talk about building confidence? Coming through with clutch plays making the winning plays at the right time can really set the course for the rest of the season.
Yeah, Reese, maturity and experience matters. And this team has guys that have played a lot of snaps. They've seen a lot of looks, and they've lost close games like this in the past. That wasn't the case today, David. Too many guys out there making big-time plays.